Hello everybody, welcome back to another part of Super Sammy Roll. Last time we did all of the special areas in World 3 area, so... Let's keep going through the stages, huh? Frosty Uphill Battles next. I do not believe there's any more gold owls in this world, so... I just gotta find the one owl now. Okay, so the gimmick of this area is wind. Which... Could be a problem. Also, I'm just gonna say this area looks like Road to Nowhere. Like in the original Crash Bandicoot, and the crystals don't help. Um, how are you gonna do this one fast? This is this is gonna be tricky any way you look at it, just because like there's not really any lenient time. Yeah, it is strong too. Yikes. Okay. Have some chaos? Nope. Ah, oh, that's so hard. I don't want to do it. I'm glad I stopped here before. This area better have a super lenient S plus. <laughs> Seeing suspicion it won't. It'll, uh, it'll probably be a particularly cruel one, honestly. But we'll see. Okay, well that's the checkpoint. Oh, well, into the abyss I go. Oh yeah, the camera can spin. You see, it's one of those obvious things, but because it's obvious I completely forgot. Oh, you're supposed to use it. Wait. So you're supposed to follow the wind, but if you follow the wind, you die. But you're not supposed to... Oopsies! Looks like developers might have made... Uh oh Ah, uh, the ground pound doesn't recharge fast enough. Ah, uh, the wind's too strong. Okay, holding back on the control stick just barely gives me enough control. Are you are you serious? I was holding on that entire time, but then like the split second, the wind stopped. It's like okay, yeah, that's a good time to uh, to stop. Uh oh, the plane. Well, come back to more Sammy roll, folks. <laughs> Remember when all the stages were really easy and the hard part was getting the S plus? I remember that. Good times. Yeah, you know, there was, was like I was looking through achievements a while back. Like, there's a new game plus mode in this game. I am terrified to know what that entails. Like, I don't even know how you, you would do that. Is it going to be like some of the Mario games where it's like, oh, but now you play through it as Luigi? This mirror is so low! The pressure down there is lower. Uh, it might actually be. Oh, that is not like any height at all. I haven't even gotten back to that one part I died at like two minutes ago. Okay. Well, I got back there, but I might have to just sit there next to my like just give up trying to make any progress. I hit an awkward corner, I had to risk a ground pound and it didn't pan out and uh went bad. Went real bad. Really? I'm starting to wonder if that wall is the death plane. Which would be against everything this game has done so far. And that's exactly why they would do something like that. 
so low. Why? It's amazing that going over the bridge doesn't trigger it. Okay, you know what? I actually didn't roll around too much, so... Uh, this better be an S+. Plus. I really don't want to play this stage again. This is already becoming one of those this is the part videos. Already harder than all of the special stages in this world combined. Come on, would you stop bouncing? Okay. Seriously? There's no cover time! Uh, Sammy, you're not in the pipe. I'm a little concerned, I have to say. I don't like the wind. Also, once again, Sammy is not in the pipe. Although it was much closer this time. I don't. I know what the thumbnail for this part is gonna be. Obviously, I can't do wind, but you know what I can do? Sammy being anywhere other than the pipe. Like unless I find something weirder, which I have 50/50 chance. I saved it somehow. Owl. Ha! Yeah, the better be next plus. Wait. Oh no! I didn't get the raspberry! I gotta do it again! Watch out with Yep, I was gonna say, watch out with something stupid like that. <laughs> well, I don't worry about time anymore, so I can take it slow. Can't believe it's something that simple. Ugh. You know, I'm not gonna make you watch me go through all this a second time. I'm gonna see you all once I finish. I already got the S+. Plus. You don't just need to clear it a second time. Okay, I did it. I cleared it. It took even more attempts than the last time. But I did it. Okay, two options. 311 or 310. Obviously we're doing 310. Called Toxicity City. Oh, wow. Okay. Name's obvious. Yeah. Okay. There's the owl. Oh, man, this has nothing to do with snow. On the other hand, after the last stage, thank goodness. Like, I don't want it to have anything to do with snow. I really hope I can find the raspberry quickly here. I have a very genuine fear that it's going to blend in with the poison. I still have not been convinced it won't. Any chance you could make that jump. Oh, that's tight squeeze. Once again, like, this feels like a bonus stage. Try doing some shenanigans and paid for it. It's pain and misery. At least it's already too slow. I still gotta get across the entire platform. That's like a solid second extra that I'm missing. Ah, oh, that is tight. I'm gonna start corner cutting and everything. Like this one's mean. I still barely made it. Oh, there's something over here. Okay. Okay, I know I didn't make it that time, but that's still way less strict.
Now I know the trick. I have to cut the corner, ignore the coins. It's just not possible. Ow. I was bouncing. I think Bozix. I think that might have been too slow. I did jump the corner, but I jumped it really slow. I got it. Barely, but I got it. Wait, Raspberry! Yeah, I'll, I'll take the, uh... Oh, you can stand at the switch and re-hit it if you fumble around. That is good to know for the future. Supposed to be a bounce. Ah. Uh, well, at least I got the raspberry. I do not have to worry about it blending in with the, the area because. Oh boy, was that a concern. Nope. Look at various I can skip in. Like, that across the gap, like, that's too obvious. There's no way that's gonna work. But. Maybe climbing those pillars might barely work. Not making it too slow. Again! And jump. What now? You jump because what else are you gonna do? Ground pound? Tongue lick? I mean, tongue lick is virtually useless in this stage so far. Except for like safety maneuvers, I guess. Oh, that was way too close. Oh, you can 100% make that jump. Like, I refuse to believe that you can't. The issue would be if you can make it with the, uh, the ooze level at where it is. Oh, I need... Yeah, just fall. The timer is way too strict in this stage. There, which you can absolutely 100% make. The issue is, yeah, there's no way you're making it before the ooze rises. That's the fear. Okay, checkpoint achieved. Okay, yeah, well. I knew my timer was low, so no real shocker there. At least I got the checkpoint. Oh, are you kidding me? I somehow missed the point. Okay. There, got it that time. Oh. No. I wouldn't have made it anyway, I learned too much. It stopped me from bouncing or actually no, I barely even have to move. That works. Okay, a little sloppy, but it's fine. Oh, you're just bouncing. How am I supposed to know that? For some reason. Like, there's no way. Oh, timer's restricted. Okay, pull forward. Oh, I could have actually just held forward there. 
Bounce, bounce. Down, dome, and bounce. There we go. Ooh, I almost bounced into the use. That was an S plus. Get me out of here. Let's go. I'm gonna go do eleven. Hindsight balloon flight. I do not like a word like hindsight being in the title of a level after what I just went through. Not one bit. This is. Is this what purgatory looks like? This endless suffering? Endless balloons? In the 80 seconds that I just noticed that, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. Try and skip around a little bit. I saw the, uh, whatchamacallit, the raspberry before, but that was like during the title scroll. I'm not sure where it is now. Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't a great checkpoint, but I'll take it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they spaced the balloons out. They knew the shenanigans we'd get up to by this point. Come on. Okay, oh, it's an auto. Sp oh. Pour one out for the poor folks that had to do this stage without the checkpoints. I, mean, I say that, but uh, considering you can switch it on and off at any point, eh, maybe don't waste too much champagne. This one's almost certainly gonna get me. Oh! I dodged it, and I don't even know how I did. There you go. The raspberry was in this mess, I'm certain of it. I just don't know where. Ah, I gotta do it all again! The scary part is... I'm sure somebody's gone through this while uh, doing their jumps off of the spikes. I'm sure it's possible. It probably shouldn't be, but I'm sure it is. Then again, I have been spitting in the face of developer intentions this entire time, so uh, do I start pretending like I care about that now? Uh-oh. I get what they were going for at this stage. The problem is they already achieved that perfectly earlier. And it was stupidly hard there, but you had no reason to make it harder. I say harder, in reality just slower because of the auto scrolls. It probably wouldn't be that bad if I wasn't stuck here waiting over and over. Actually no, it is harder because there's actually just straight up no land here. Land, land, land! Okay, barely did. Can I go two for two? Probably not. Probably so!
I'm gonna find the guys, Barry. The worst part of this is uh, there was is that locked camera, so I can't look around. Not a lot of levels do this, but there's just enough that do where they force you onto the auto camera. And it's the worst. I don't care about the S plus this round, I just want the raspberry. If I can get both, great, but considering this level has an auto scroller, I think it probably has to be one that has a more lenient time, but then again, the last or not the last stage, but two stages ago, the wind one really wasn't all that lenient. Despite it te technically being an auto scroller too. And even if obstacle just isn't as hard as it seems, this is weird to me because it definitely seems really hard. I think I saw the raspberry, but it's also what yeah, it's way on the other side of the screen. You have to somehow be able to see where I am. Ah, uh, go down. Okay, I got it. And. I just don't believe this. I'm not doing this crap anymore. I got the raspberry. Poor little Sammy here died for it, but I got the raspberry. I am very curious how speedruns handle this stage, because I do know there are speedruns in this game. And I guess there is the obvious option. Which is because the only real speedruns that exist to this game are any percents, and this is on a forks path, they just don't bother. There, actually, there might be like IL stuff too, so maybe they do still handle this stage. I don't know. I can't imagine this is a very popular one anyway. Auto scrollers are never speedrunners' favorites. Honestly, casual players almost always hate them too, so it's just a gimmick that just. It, it's poison, basically. Okay, made it. Please be S. Plus. It is! Okay, get me out of here. Let's go! Alright, 312. Glacial Crack Drifter. We're back to the snow theme again. Preferably without wind this time, pretty please. Oh, this checkpoint. I did not see the raspberry, but I don't doubt it's here. It could be just like pinned in one of these trees again. Oh, those types. Okay, fine. Uh oh. Still hit the tree so I can get the coins. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Forget the coins. I can make it, but because of the way Sydney bounces, I can't jump again there. I think there's like a two frame window bed. Like, it is really tight. It doesn't look it, but it is. Ugh, this is hard. Why is everything so hard? This is another world after this. I'm not ready for that. 
the weirdest thing about it too is like the inconsistent difficulty this game has. Like you can have a, the hardest levels ever, and then you'll have something that's easier than the first stage. Like, it, it's so weird. And the first stage is like actually just a square with no obstacles, which makes it even more baffling. I wish that, since they already took it, that gimmick from Mario Galaxy that they had just gone all the way with it and uh, made it work the same as it does in Mario as well so that it only flips when you jump. Like if Mario ever tried doing that on a timer it would be the most infuriating thing in the world just like this is! Okay, no juggling this time. Thank you for that. Okay. Where does this have made it so far? Come on! Oh no you oh no you don't. Okay, this is some sort of Zora level trolling like get out of the water. Uh oh. I did not see that gap in the blocks. There's another gap, but I don't think we need to worry about it. Okay, there. Checkpoint reached. Checkpoint reloaded. Asbury. Okay, this is one of those levels the Raspberry really can't be hiding like, anywhere, so I'm really hoping that they just don't. And it's just on the path. If all I could possibly think of for this stage would be to uh, put it in a tree. Oh, this is cruel to put this here. Oh, there's the Raspberry. I have any Zelda Again. Again, at least now I know where it is. Do you like to speed up, Sammy? I can't even jump. The game won't let me. Wait, this is controller being dumb shenanigans. Hold on. I do not know why the cursor is on screen, but it is now. Okay, never mind. That seems to just be a me issue. I don't think it's picking up on the capture device, thank goodness. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna have to deal with a giant hand covering my screen. Uh oh. Now I'm gonna have to do this twice. Because of how uh, an optimal it is to go for the raspberry, I'm gonna have to reload after that. And that's all assuming that I get an S plus the first time around. Which that is a bold assumption. Because like this isn't one of the auto scroller stages, so anything goes. Yeah. Hey, this stage is so miserable. It's so simple, but it's so irritating. I have this giant claw hand in the middle of the screen. You all don't have to deal with this. I do.
Ice physics make it stuff. Uh, back we go. I'd say the whole this is the rest of the part joke game, but first of all, I've already used that line. This part. And secondly, we're past the 30 minute mark, so it would be the last stage anyway. Okay, I'm usually a defender of ice physics in games, but this is easily the worst execution that I've ever seen. It's so bad. I cannot defend this. And they, the fact they expect you to go fast in this, like, that's too to grow of it. Like, it's. I could handle the rest of it. Or at least tolerate it. But the fact that you're. This game is built around speed. Ah, oh, that makes it so much worse. It makes things so much worse. And these stupid mechanics that like work a third of the time. Like, it's so weird too. It's like they worked fine in the first world. Honestly, no, the first two worlds I think they worked fine. It's just. Somewhere in the third world, it just stopped working. It's so... <laughs> I don't know how I survived that, but... You will not catch me complaining for even a second. Mind her again that I'll... Yes, I do have to do this twice. And that's twice successfully, I should add. Like juggling on these purple blocks of goopy, slippery doom. If that sounds like a paradox, congratulations, you found out the biggest problem with that mechanic. Oh, actually, second biggest problem with that mechanic. The biggest problem is the fact that it's moving and it sinks. to be on these things. I don't even know how to put this into words. It's it's just miserable. Like that is the only word for the stage. Misery. How bad is it? Like, this is the first part I'm genuinely considering, like, not putting the... Like, in every single part I have put, like, the, the buy links in the description. This is the first part I'm considering not doing that. From this. It's like, yeah, no, maybe don't support these devs. Like, maybe check out a demo if you can get your hands on it, but... Uh, and by all means, check out anything they make in the future, but... This ain't it! Completely still going through growing pains. Okay, I desperately need this penguin to leave. Oh, screw it. Ah, I had to do a YOLO jump and I never really recovered. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. This one here isn't so bad, it's just the second you land on these purple blocks of goopy, slippery doom. Everything just falls apart. It's something so slippery, so sticky. Hey, please, penguin, come off good. I, I had to bait it off, but I don't care. It's been on doing multiple recording sessions today. I don't think I have dead me anymore. I don't even think I have me do Xenoblade anymore. He's like, nah, like I'm done for the night. My joy might have part of Xenoblade right now where it's story and it's very long and verbose cutscenes, so I'd be doing virtually nothing. I still don't have it in me. It would just be commenting with either between low screens or brief moments where I make sure they sort of like the intro and outro. That's still be like, I don't know, maybe three minutes of talking. Okay, there's a stop bugging. Built to do this perfectly twice. I've not forgotten that detail. I feel like I owe some old levels in this game. Oh, they were nowhere near this bad. Like, there's hard and niche is unfair. Mind you, I do still think there are a few levels I went through before that were definitely on the unfair side of that spectrum. Okay, there was that one in World 2 where they had like this stupidly strict timer with virtually no floor. I have not forgiven that one. That one was dumb. Okay, didn't bait the penguin off, but it's probably already fallen to its doom anyway, so who cares? Got it. I didn't survive long enough to even land on the platform it was on, I don't care. We're gonna finish the stage now. Yeah, now we're doing this part as perfectly as possible, because the last thing I want to do is get through this and get nest standard. Nope. I'm not playing that game. I've already got like 60 deaths to the stage. What's another 10? Flips early, so not even gonna bother. There we go. I doubt I waste more than a second on that, honestly, so fine. No, no, no. Sammy, no more super, no more rolling. Yoga doctor on hiatus, I wouldn't be suffering as much. How was I supposed to know that the suffering had only begun? Then again, I do a lot of games either blind or semi blind here, whereas on Yoga Doctor, they're almost never blind. At least for me. 
Like, mm -hmm. I, know, I know Yogi's had a thing, like, and there is exceptions, like, the Month of Glory stuff. Like, those are exceptions, not the rule. Last thing I want to do is do this all over again. I'm not even at the hard part. I can't even make to the hard part anymore. No. You game. No! I can't stand around there, that stupid bank will knock me off! It never ends. It never ever ends. And then you get stuck flinging yourself the wrong direction and you have to off Sammy so you can have another chance to go again. Doesn't that sound fun? This is for a KC platformer that probably took the average player like two hours. Uh -huh. I'm on easy mode. I haven't checked how long to beat, but I also no longer consider that site to be anywhere near reliable for right your times because every single game on that site, barring one that I've ever played, has been like maybe a fifth the time that I take, regardless of the genre. Like even something like the Ace Attorney trilogy, which like I read decently fast, I think, like when I'm not going to read out loud anyway. And I still took way over the recommended time. I mean, I know the creator doesn't like people calling it a visual novel, but it is. It is 100% a visual novel. Bounce trick there, but I feel like it is probably a smidge faster, so. Okay. I passed my way over here. Wrong type of bounce. Up, nope. Definitely wrong type of bounce. Jump, jump. I don't think when you can come over here. Good. Made it. Please give me S+. Plus. Yes! Get me out of this nightmare! Let's go far, far away from this stage. Thank you all for watching. I'm doing literally anything else now. Take care, stay safe. Have a good one. If the links are in the description below, I was feeling generous. Let's just say that. Bye-bye!